Welcome back. I want to take a few minutes to talk about transformations. Now transformations of variables are very common. However, there are some important issues you have to be aware of. In this very short video, I will first of all talk about what transformations do, how they can be used. Number two, I talk about the change of relationships they imply, which is very, very frequently overlooked. Many people don't know about this. And number three, I want to talk about one misconception regarding the need for transformations before you move into regression analysis, which we do in lecture three. Good, let's uh, explore this um, a bit further. So first of all, when we go back to our um, lecture two um, material, we just rerun the do file, which is easy to do. So we just um, replicate all the stuff we have done in the previous session, which you can anyway watch in the video. So um, as we know, looking at the income distribution, income is by no means um, normally distributed. We talked about skewness. We said there is a positive skew. Now, many people would look at this distribution and would now do a transformation. The most common transformation in particular in economics uh, would be um, a log transformation. So we just now implement that. So I add a comment here and talk about transformations. And I use a generate command to generate a new variable. I call this ln and then income. And I just use now the ln function. So I do a log transformation. I put in the variable income. And then, of course, I, I can just simply have a look um, we have done this before using k-density, canal density, look at the distribution of the modified income variable compared to a normal distribution. Yeah, so I just do that. Um, a log transformation is um, very useful to um, reduce very large positive outliers. Yeah, so that's quite helpful. Looking at the distribution, we have a positive um, skewness a log transformation is the obvious thing to do. So if we run this, you see almost perfectly you end up in a normal distribution. So put uh, differently, looking at the log of income per household, we know that um, the log of income follows a normal distribution. So that means that income itself is, um, is log normally distributed. Now this is an interesting insight. Now, this is almost a picture perfect case where um, this transformation is actually very effective in moving your um, potentially dependent variable or independent variable into a normal distribution. Now, um, as long as you are aware that this transformation might change relationships you want to model, it's perfectly fine to do this. Good. So let's move into the second problem. What happens to relationships? Now, um, I um, opened up a whiteboard, which is um, quite nice and useful. It's actually available for free. I actually will put this down in the descriptions. If you want to play around, you can also share your whiteboard with your friends. So if you want to have a little nerdy evening um, exploring some mathematics, you can do so um, for no costs whatsoever. So I just wrote down um, two simple um, equations. Um, first, um, a linear equation where you have a dependent variable denoted y and you have an independent variable denoted x. And um, you have a straightforward um, linear relationship. So there is a constant term. We spoke about the constant term in the previous um, lecture a and then we have a slope coefficient b. Now, when you write on this equation as it stands, it might, for instance, explain income using um, maybe age or age structure of a household or family size um, or education, for instance. Now, it, when you start transforming one of these variables, it does change the relationship. It does change the interpretation of these coefficients. 
At the moment, without any transformation, um, the b, your slope coefficient, basically means what's the change in your dependent variable if you change your independent variable x by a marginal unit. Yeah. So actually, in terms of the mathematics behind this, it is um, um, it is a derivative. Or to be precise, if you have more than um, one independent variable, it's, it's a partial derivative. Um, so you look at marginal changes of x of your independent variable, how this affects your dependent variable. Now this is measured by your coefficient b. Now what happens if you now start doing some transformations? Well, it does change this relationship as well. As long as you know that this is going on, you know, that's perfectly fine. But I can assure you, many people have absolutely no idea what they're doing. They just transform um, stuff left, right, center, and they don't realize that actually this might influence the way the different um, variables relate to each other. So in this simple example, if I only transform um, my dependent variable, so for instance, this might be um, income, so I put here um, a log income, this, of course, also means that uh, then in this particular case, my um, my coefficient b is not what it seems to be. It would be then, after the transformation, refer to um, something which um, is um, um, the derivative of um, the ln of y with respect to x. Yeah, so that's not um, entirely the same. Yeah, so that is um, a different coefficient. Now, as long as you know that, that's fine. And you could then from this coefficient get back to the original one simply by um, using the chain rule. Yeah, so you would simply differentiate your L and Y first with respect to Y, which is um, um, one divided by Y. Okay, that's basic calculus. And then you have your original coefficient dy dx, and you would be back to where you started. So um, as long as you understand how the relationship is changing, that's fine. But I, I, I bet most people don't know what they are doing. So transforming your variable can make them look normal, as we have seen. However, you have to understand what this is doing to your relationships, the ones you want to model in a subsequent um, regression analysis. The last point I want to make, which actually is quite important and very often um, ignored, um, do you actually have to have normally distributed variables to do um, a regression analysis? And many people believe yes, but actually, no, you don't. It is not is not important. It, it might make it easier to fulfill all the assumptions. That's maybe true, but you don't have to have normally distributed variables to start um, a regression analysis. So, summing up, transformations can be helpful to um, change the nature of your variable. It can make the variable um, behave in a more symmetric manner if this is what you want to do. As long as you understand the implications um, for modeling relationships, it's perfectly fine to do a transformation. And finally, you don't have to do a transformation um, for the sake of um, forcing a variable into a normal distribution. This is not necessary. There are other ways of handling in arising issues. Okay, that's all for today. I see you in the next.